This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. Well, Pop Smoke is not happy with Takashi 69 DJ because he says that um he says that Takashi started woo and that I I can't believe this is an argument and that Pop Smoke is taking woo from Takashi 69. Now I don't I don't blame Pop Smoke for having the reaction he did where it's like, yo, fall back. Um, don't play with me. Uh, you know, he, he did a whole thing on Instagram if you want to watch it. Um, and then, you know, he's talking about woo. If you know what woo is, you wouldn't be, you know, something like that. And then he threatens the DJ. Okay. As in, uh, who cares who started it? I wouldn't even have given it attention. Uh, you know, and Takashi, you don't want to be affiliated with that because, you know, he, he cooperated. You know, so you don't really, it's not a cool thing to be affiliated with. Even though the kid's going to come out and have success we already know that's gonna happen because it's it's a different time but um you know pop smoke it's hard to take his little thread seriously because i know he's got a crew and i know he's not soft and he's you know he's from brooklyn and all that but uh and, you know i know and, and and i know you know whatever but you know you just had a fake beef with casanova i i, I can't respect these fake beefs that people have and then they're wrestling with each other the next day, playing with, you know, having dinner. It's like, it's weird. But, um, you know, Pop Smoke, congratulations to his success. And, you know, he has a couple songs that are pretty, pretty cool. He's got a, a crew that's backing him. He just needs to make different kind of music to me now. Uh, but you know what? I don't, maybe not, you know, because Travis Scott has continually made the same kind of music and it's been successful. Uh, you know, Pop Smoke's got his, you know, it's like a UK lane to me because UK's been on that type of music and it's kind of like UK drill, you know, whatever it is. It's, you know, gigs and them kind of pioneered that kind of stuff and Skepta and all those guys. Uh, I don't know. You know, we'll see what happens with Pop Smoke. It's going to be interesting, you know, but salute to him doing his thing. Then we got PMB Rock. I can't respect this guy, man. He does countless things all the time. To, to just, you know, he throws money at homeless people, throws it at them, disrespectfully. Uh, now he was, that this is something I can't respect because uh, I've lost a few people to car accidents. And cars, these are killing machines, okay? We, we're driving things around and we're playing with things every day that can hurt other people, hurt ourselves. And you have to respect these things, you know? He got drunk, got behind the wheel of his car, racing, flipped over a bunch of cars. He hit a bunch of parked cars. Thankfully, nobody was in them, and uh, he got he got arrested for DUI. But you know, I don't have any respect for him. He could have killed somebody. You know, uh, like I said, my girlfriend, her her daughter was killed just a few years ago from a drunk driver crossing into her lane and hitting her head on. So I have no respect for people that get behind the wheel when they're when they've been drinking. You know, you, you you know you can't do that, man. You know, like this guy count does countless dumb stuff. He's talented, yeah, but come on, man, yeah, be responsible. Then we got um oh we already went over this story. I don't even know why it's still on the screen. Terry, Cru oh I had something else up there. Uh, let me pull this story up. This one was uh, spooky. Okay, so boom. Let me put this guy. This guy. <laughs> I mean, it's scary out here. This is why it's scary to almost have kids. Okay, this guy. He um. He got 99 years in prison. He had his mom killed. Okay, for the insurance money. Uh, he's from Chicago. He's a Chicago rapper. Sentenced to 99 years in prison for placing a hit on his mom. Uh, he, when he was 23, hired a hitman. Uh, claimed, got the insurance policy. Um, the, the the hired guy was a certain guy. He received a hundred year prison sentence. Uh, Spencer reportedly shot his mom and then stabbed her for good measures. That's what it says here. Uh, then it says, make sure that girl woman is dead. That's what he said about his own mother. You gotta be kidding. Then he bought cars and stuff with insurance money. That's disgusting. It's spooky out here, man. Then we got 
Terry Crews. He's backpedaling. I like Terry Crews. I don't know what's going on with him, man. Like, why is he getting involved in things that don't in pertain to him? Gabriel Union has a problem with AGT. Okay. He says, oh, um, wait, what is this? Oh, my gosh. Okay. So then he, sa uh, he says, uh, I just read something that messed my mind up. I'll get to that in a second. So, you know, now he's saying uh, it wasn't my intention to go against Gabriel Union because, you know, he spoke on a, uh, a talk show saying that he never had any, saw any, you know, problems with AGT, you know, so he, he which is America's Got Talent, the show. Uh, then she spoke out and, you know, D. Wade said, take care of Perry Cruz from because now he's, you know, just, you know, this is a guy who had the Me Too movement to go into. He said, uh, I told, and the Me Too movement is serious, but he said he was touched by a, a manager or something. I don't know. It was weird. He said, I told Kevin Hart a while ago I needed to acknowledge the pain of other people. Right now, I have to do the same thing. I want to apologize for the comments I made because he got dragged, you know, for getting involved in Gabriel Union's issue. He wasn't there. He didn't see what happened. You shouldn't be a defending America's Got Talent when you don't work there anymore. The thing I read that just disturbed me is the Disney heiress, Abigail Disney, on Kobe's passing. She brought up his past allegations from 2003, and this guy he was exonerated. The, Kobe is the victim because someone accused him of something he didn't do. Disney heiress, Abigail Disney. She's disgusting, man. She, she said that I'm not even going to repeat what she said. It's disgusting. I'm so sick of people. Kobe is a great person, you know, like look at all the stuff that he did. He I don't even know how Kobe had time for himself by the end of the day. I'm hearing so many stories of him being there for this person, this person, this person, seeing sick kids in the hospital, helping kids practice, helping his own kids practice being the, one of the best basketball players that's ever lived uh you know like being a multi uh, investing in multi-billion dollar businesses how did this guy this guy accomplished so much by 41 i mean we lost a amazing human being last weekend you know and um you know i just now stopped crying this week you know every day something made me cry i'm sure you guys are going through the same thing because like we all grew up with Kobe, man, you know, like, you know, Kobe is Kobe, you know, and he, he and it hurts, he, he was a good person, you know, like, when good people pass, man, it's even worse, and his daughter, you know, uh, again, my condolences to everybody that was on that helicopter, I mean, that's such a horrible thing, and um, I don't want to think about it too much, because then we start, like, getting depressed, but, you know, it's, I like to see all the funny things that Kobe did, like the commercials. Shaq has a lot of funny stories. Um, you know, so let's we'll celebrate the great person Kobe was. He's inspirational still, even more so after he's gone, because now you see everything, you know? Um, I got to watch that movie he put out too. But anyways, guys, sorry to drag this on so much. Uh, I just wanted to cover a bunch of stuff for the first video for the day. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I hope you're having a great day. If you're not having a great day, try to watch some inspirational videos. Know that you can, you're alive. Your heart is beating and you, you have today and the future to change the outcome of where you're at right now. If you're not happy where you're at right now, just start making baby steps. Go up the stairs until you get to the top, okay? It takes small steps. You got to start somewhere. If you're out of shape like I am right now, we got to start going to the gym today. I started eating healthier today. Chicken and broccoli every day with mushrooms and spinach, you know? I'm just already feeling better after five days of that. Now I'm going to start, you know, get back into doing three miles a day, you know, and, and, slowly my body will adapt to that and I'll feel better and you know if you're not in the job you want right now start looking for another job uh, st st if you're just 
you have to stay active because if you're not active, the universe can't help you. You know what I mean? So like if you sit at home and you do nothing, nothing's going to happen. You know, it's as stupid as like winning the lottery. If you don't go buy a lottery ticket, you can't even win the lottery. You know, you got to be active. You got to partake in life. Okay. So I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.